So I'm here in Strasbourg. Spent a couple days here so far. Um, I've always wanted to see the city of Colmar, France. So I'm taking a train from uh, the main Strasbourg train station to Colmar, which is only a 35 or so minute train uh, direct on a, a regional train. You can also take the TGV, which is 25 minutes, but you need seat reservations. So I'm gonna go down there and uh, check out uh, the picturesque sort of views that uh, Colmar has to offer in the quieter, quainter, uh, small town France. made the quick 35 minute train into Colmar. So here we are, we're walking through um, the Champs du Mars to get to, uh, to Old Town. And then from Old Town, we'll take you through a little bit of a tour of uh, Les Petites Venice, where you see all the Instagrammable uh, images and just the quaint uh, small town with uh, with boats and canals uh, and the traditional sort of small town French homes and um, and restaurants. So follow along. We're uh, headed to the city. I think we have about a 10 minute walk from uh, the train station well, through the park. But overall from the train station, it's about a 15 minute walk in total. So 1.1 kilometers to get to the the main uh, main square. Colmar is actually known as the capital of Alsatian wine. All right, this is the Fountain Schwendi, which is a historic fountain in the middle of this nice square here. And basically the start of the canal. Um, but this fountain was largely rebuilt after World War II um, and features uh, General Lazar Schwendi at the top and plenty of like amazing plenty of amazing restaurants up and down this street and we'll continue down this street towards uh, Little Venice um, and making several stops along the way city has these little pointers with the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty actually, the uh, creator was actually born here in Colmar and walking up is uh, Market Covert Colmar which is an awesome little market and then it points you in the right direction though here and then you get up to sort of the scenic uh, 
photos that you've, I'm sure you've seen um, on Instagram and whatever, right? But uh, this is basically Little Venice. Uh, and we'll walk, we'll continue walking through here. Another heart. All right, so the market right here on the canal was built in 1865. Largely just produce market. I'm gonna see if I can go in there and grab a sandwich for lunch after doing uh, the trains. Um, and I'll show you some footage of what the, the market is like and we'll figure out if it's sort of worth it to spend time in or not. So we're actually visiting uh, Colmar on a Sunday, so it's quieter than usual. And then within the market, a lot of stuff's closed, but uh, I'm sure there's something that I can find here. Uh, but a pretty cool market. A lot of good fresh produce. This region's known for excellent wine and, and uh, fresh produce, local, locally sourced foods and excellent restaurants. Okay, just had some lunch walking through um, Old Town, Colmar, heading back to the train station after just a short, short trip down here.
Alright, made it back to the train station, Gare de Colmar. Um, overall, I would say that this is an excellent uh, day trip. It was a Sunday, so we didn't have a ton of time. Some things were closed, um, so it was a quick trip. Uh, definitely will be back. Um, we're going to take a about a 30, another 35 minute train. If we took an earlier train, about an hour earlier, it'd, it'd be sub 30 minutes. Um, with only one stop, the one that we're taking will have about two stops again and about the same time. Um, but just an easy, quick trip from Strasbourg, uh, which uh, the city actually surprised me in terms of the main, like, little Venice area. A ton of good restaurants, even more than, like, I thought. Uh, there's basically Michelin star restaurants everywhere excellent wine and even really good shopping so uh, definitely we'll be back for a longer stay at some point in time uh, very quiet though really really good place to just wine and dine and slow down time um, and to get there from Strasbourg I mean it's it's very cheap uh, I'm using my EU rail pass but uh, if you if you didn't have a EU rail pass you can for sub uh, for sub ten dollars or t you know ten US dollars or about seven to eight euros for a one-way ticket uh, is definitely worth the price to jet down here from from Strasbourg or even make it up from um, Basel Switzerland if you can